Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to exclude a quick set smart code 916 lock from a Z-Wave controller. There's many instances where you may be looking to exclude a Z-Wave lock from the controller. Let's say you move into a new location to live and you find that there is an alarm system installed or a Z-Wave controller installed and there are Z-Wave locks on the doors that are connected to it. May, you may not want to use the existing alarm system or Z-Wave controller that's in the house as you may have your own and to get them onto your own system, first you'll need to do an exclude. Also, whenever you do include any Z-Wave device, it's recommended to exclude it first as the device may have programming still in it from the factory or any tests that were done on it before it was shipped out. And if you don't clear out that programming first, when you go to include the lock, you may run into some issues as uh, programming that's inside of Z-Wave devices could cause problems when they do try to include to another controller. Doing an exclude first will clear all of the existing programming from the lock and get it ready to be included to any controller. Excluding is different from factory defaulting. Excluding literally just has to do with the connection to a Z-Wave controller. This isn't going to clear any of the code programming or any other information on the lock. So if you are looking to clear the lockout 100% completely, you'll want to do a factory default, which is a different process. Today, we're going to show you how to exclude the lock from an IQ2, as it does have a built-in Z-Wave controller. And it's really easy to do. All the Z-Wave locks that are out there likely have a different exclude function or a different process to exclude them from the controller as compared to other ones. It's all a simple process. But before you go ahead and do an exclusion on the lock, you're going to want to go online, find the manual for the lock, and just check to see what the exact process is to make your life easy. This lock, it's really easy to do. So on, all you have to do is press the learn button once the system is in exclusion mode. The learn button is right here on the back. This back plate does have two screws that we've removed so that we can take it off. So if we take the back plate off, you'll see that there is a button right here with A on it. This is the learn button for Z-Wave. So after we get our controller into exclusion mode, we're going to click this button and it will exclude from the controller. So now in my IQ2, I'm just going to go to exclusion mode. So I'm going to slide down from the top, click on settings, do advanced settings, and then enter the default 2222 code. I'm going to go to installation, devices, Z-Wave devices, and then clear device. Now the system is in exclusion mode. So back down on my lock, I'm going to click the A button. Device is cleared from the network successfully. And as you can see, or as you can hear, the device was successfully excluded. Now this quick set wasn't included, so what we literally just did was we performed an exclude on the, on the lock and it cleared out all the Z-Wave programming that's in the lock. Now the lock is 100% ready to be included to another Z-Wave controller, and it should be good to go. If you do have any questions about this process, though, about Z-Wave locks in general, Z-Wave compatibility, how to get them to work with your controller, or really which one you should get, feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us on our website at www.alarmgrid.com. Give us a call at 888-818-7728, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe, and if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below, and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.